the steps of the righteous are ordered of the Lord. Yes, Lord. We believe, Thank Heavenly Jesus. Father, that it is not by accident, um, it is not by coincidence, oh yes, God, Lord. it is by your divine purpose. You have something special in store for yes. yes, the Lord. We believe, oh God, that it is indeed by your divine planning that mm. things are as they are, oh yes, God. Lord. Nothing is out of cater. Amen. Everything is under your control. Mm. So we commit the service into your hands. Yes, Lord. Into your hands. That Father God, as you have said in your way, for a piloke, lift in a more and now we are landing to the heart. We prepare our hearts this day, oh God, yes, that we may be able to receive that which you have in store for us, oh God. Amen. And may that word, when it goes forth, find its place, Mama. And Lord God, you may speak to each heart, oh Lord, Amen. according to that which we have planned for this day. Yes, we Lord. commit everything into your hands, not forgetting to bind every force of darkness, yes, Lord. Mama. Whatever thing that the devil may try to bring against your children, oh God, yes, whether Lord. it is to prevent them from receiving your word mm. or to disturb them from hearing what it is that you have for them, oh yeah. Lord, or whatever thing he may plan, or the mm. seeds, or when he comes in like a flood, Ooh. you will raise up the storm Amen. against him. And you promise that your church, oh God, will stand against him. Yes, and Lord. upon that revelation which is your revealed way, mm. and the gates of hell will not prevail against Amen. him. And so we stand here, oh God, upon that promise. Yes, Let's Lord. Say, or, 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 yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And we stand here as more than conquerors. Thank you, Commit Jesus. everything into your hands, O oh God, the reading mm. of the word and the service going further. We thank you for all that you have done for us, O oh Lord, the soul service and everything that you are still going to do for yes, us. Yes, Lord. We praise you, we honor you. Yes, in the oh mighty God. name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, O oh God. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 I greet you, children of God. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I believe you are all happy to be here. Amen. Uh, for it is God who has brought us all here. Yeah. He has a plan for our lives. Amen. And he is going to execute it today. Amen. 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 Uh, that is the thing that you get when you have an expectation. Yeah. Uh, you receive know. what God has in store for you. Um, because every single day uh, God has something in store for you. Yeah. He said when we pray we should say give us this day our daily bread. Yeah. Because every day there is something that he has in store for yeah. you. So just come with an open heart. Heart, and you will go back full. Amen. 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 So we go to the scriptures for now. Amen. 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 Five. Mm -hmm. And then up until verse 22. Mm -hmm. And then up until verse 22. Look at how they are paying to my Abatan. Making a rote of Oceana, I had you to go be one of the more Purista, a Mongwe, a Abija was a career. Elewa supota sa abia, mosadi wagawe ebe ele wamuluko wa aroni, lina lagawe ebe ele elizabeta. Babe bandu kile pele ramu dimu kaba bedi, ba eya kadita elo kamuka chamore na basi na usudi. Gome babe basi na mwana, elizabeta ele mwopa, 
le gona ba be ba tsofetse bobedi ba bona ya re motlatsa ka re a sore mo diro ba bo prista pele ga modimo e le le tjatsi la gagwe a tsena ma go mo modimo a thuntsa di orelo ka mogwa ba bo prista le shaba ka moka la batho le be le emente ba rapela ka le ba ka leo e go thuntsa di orelo Zakaria a bona morongwa wa morena a eme ka gone le tona la aletare ya di orelo a re go mmona a tshoga a wela ke poifo morongwa a bolela nae a re se boife Zakaria tapelo ya gago e kwelwe Elizabeth mosadi wa gago o tlo go belegela morwa ba ka morea le nna la Johane yena e tlo ba le thabo la gago le hlalalo ya gago gomme ba ba tlo go thabela go tswalwa gagwe ke ba bantsi go bane e tlo ba e mogolo pele ga morena amen aka seke anwa morara le sidila o tlo tlala moya mogetwa a sa le mmelengwa mmawe ba bantsi ba ba israele o tlo ba sokollela mo morena modimo wa bona me o tlo ba eta pele ka moya wa Elia le ka matla a gagwe gore dipelo tsa botata go bana a di sukolle go bana ba bona le ba ganyetsi a ba sukollele bo tlhaleng ya baluki amen a ba sukollele bo tlhaleng ba baluki e be go lukisetsa morena setshaba se se tlhamilego amen sakaria fetola are tseo ke tlo di tseba ka go bane ke tshofetse le mosadi wa ka o fitilwe ke mabaka a gagwe morongwa a bolela a re ke nna ga ba riele ke ema go pele ga modimo ke rumilwe go bolela le wene le go tsebisha ditaba tshe o tsetseo se ba ge o tlo ba simuma wa tlo ba wa tla le tjatsi le ditlogo tswelela ka lona amen o tlo shitwa go bolela ka go bane o saka wa dimela tse ke di boletsego tse di tlogo direga ka le bakala tsona ge le se tshaba sona se be se le tetsa ka rea se khotsa ga diega mo wa kunwa modimo bele ge tswa a shitwa go bolela ke mo ba le mmile o ge a bone pono montong ya modimo yena a foba a foba khwatetsa ka diatla a dula a le simuma Amen. 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 This is just a, a short while before Jesus Christ was to yeah. be born. Uh, Amen. Mm. And we see that uh, God was preparing the way. Mm. Uh, so he sent an angel to one of the, the priests of that day. Mm. Uh, his name being Zachariah. And we see that uh, this priest sees the angel. And he hears the message that comes from the angel. Amen. But then there is something about uh, what he hears mm. that he didn't quite receive well. Uh, 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 so he, he questioned what the angel was saying. Uh, and uh, as a result, we see that he was later than paralyzed. Amen. Amen. So um, he was paralyzed because being a priest, 
him being a priest, yeah, priest. He, he, he knew of certain things that had happened before yeah. that were similar to what the angel was telling him about Amen. but then he still had questions about yes. them because sometimes things happen that way and that you know about something uh, and you are well prepared about it and when the time comes uh, there seems to be a bit of a shaking uh, or nervousness of some sort mm. uh, so that is why the prophet would say that people are able to see what God has already done yeah. they are able to see what he is going to do mm. but they fail to see what he is doing now so Zachariah after analyzing all these things that the angel was saying and finding that it was hard for him to believe it um, the angel said to him to show that these things are true mm. uh, and because you did not believe you will be paralyzed from here on until you witness them happening right? because of your unbelief. Amen. 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 So the, 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 the subject of our matter today is analysis paralysis. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. So it, it's a part of the whole Amen. So it, it's a paralysis. Uh, that comes as a result of questioning things from God. Uh, it's not a difficult thing. Uh, you know, sometimes uh, when when uh, different ways are used in uh, 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 or ways that we know uh, 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 are used in a different context. Uh, 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 they seem a bit uh, uh, um, complex. But they are simple. Mara You know, sometimes maybe I'll say I'll bring you iced tea. Uh, and uh, it seems like hey, uh, But it's it's tea. Mara uh, tea. And you know what tea is. And it's for not taking. And then ice is cold. And then uh, ice is cold. So it's just cold tea. Oh, yeah. You know what tea is? Amen. 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 Let's catch us again. Let's catch us again. Let's catch us again. So it's just a paralysis that comes as a result of a. Um, Questioning God's word. Uh, or reasoning. Uh, reasoning is the one that we know. Uh, yeah, let's say it's reasoning. Uh, yeah, but the title will stay the same. Amen. So uh, when we talk of paralysis, we, we talk about not being able to function according to the purpose intended. Amen. So Amen. If, if my hand is paralyzed, it means it can't function according to its intended purpose. Amen. So maybe I can't pick things up like a normal hand can. Amen. Maybe if the feeling is out of the hand, maybe my hand can't feel the way it's supposed to. So, so that's a form of paralysis. So what came upon Zachariah was that he was no longer able to speak. Uh, he was now mute. So, so he couldn't speak right? he was paralyzed in that sense because he tried to, to analyze God's way Amen, Amen. Um, the Bible tells us that um, him and his wife were both righteous uh, they were working blameless in the sight of God and so you can see the kind of life that he was living. It was a clean life. Even before God and men. Amen. 
And so the, the only problem that came with him was that he, he analyzed God God's will. Uh, when he was just supposed to believe. So I'm going to read something here uh, from the message, I am the resurrection and the life. Uh, amen. Amen. So, uh, um, just towards the end of paragraph 21. paragraph 21. The prophet says, Now look at the difference between Zacharias, that minister. Uh, who had studied the scriptures over and over and over and over and over again. And had plenty of examples. Uh, there, there was Sarah, Sarah, Hannah, and so forth, back in the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. Old Testament. Uh, you remember uh, uh, Sarah, the, the wife to Abraham. Mm -hmm. uh, she, she bore Isaac when she was 90 years old. Amen. So she, she was very old. And then Hannah is the, I think, the mother of Samuel. Yeah. Uh, she, she was also old when, according to what the prophet tells us, uh, when she bore the, when she got received her, her son. Uh, so it, it, it was things that Zachariah had, had went through. Uh, and him being a priest, uh, he should have been familiar with them. Uh, so when we read in um, Luke chapter 1 uh, where he was questioning what the angel said to him verse, verse 18 he said uh, okay I'll just read it here verse 18 says and Zachariah said unto the angel whereby shall I know this for I am an old man and my wife well stricken in years Zachariah Vetula are Amen. Amen. So you can see the, 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 the reasoning that he gave was, was a contrary to what he knew. He, he should have been in a position to believe this because he had plenty of examples. Amen. 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 So he continues to say. Um, there was Sarah and Hannah and so forth back in the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. Plenty of examples. He doubted it to be so. But this little girl didn't doubt. Okay, so the prophet here was comparing um, what happened with Zacharias and what happened with men. Amen. Amen. Um, the portion of Mary is also in Luke chapter 1. It's, it's, it's in Luke chapter 1. Um, in the further verses. But I suppose, okay, let's not read it. Um, it, it it's I think you know the story. The same angel, Gabriel, went to Mary and said to her, you, you will bear a child. And um, his name will be Jesus. And Mary asked, how will this be? Because, because remember that had never happened before. Mary was a virgin. Uh, she had known no man. Uh, so that puzzled her. And when she asked, the angel explained how it would be that the Holy Spirit would overshadow her and then she would bear, uh, bring forth a, a child. And that's how it was going to be. And Mary answered the angel and said, Be it unto me according to thy will. Amen. 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 So that was the comparison that. Uh, the, the prophet was making 
And so he said, but that little girl didn't doubt. She said, behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. What a difference. Yeah. He says, now sometimes you can colors yourself. Um, colors, so the colors give the cons. The cons, the, the, the colors is what you, you when, when your hand hardens, yeah. Yeah. Uh, those uh, are, or when your feet hardens, kikidi cons. So, so the prophet says, now sometimes you can colors yourself. Amen. Uh, reading the Bible just like reading a newspaper. And having about the same kind of faith that would uh, you have in one Amen. so you, you're just reading the bible as if it's a newspaper now the prophet says when you do that you you colors yourself you make yourself hard he says when you read God's word, believe it just like it says it is. Yeah. And take God at his way. Yeah. Now as soon as she read this or she seen this before her, yeah. then the angel said you are going to have a baby. Look what she had to believe. Mm. Well, she had uh, to believe something that never happened. Mm. Zacharias didn't have to um, plenty times that it did happen. Yeah. Through the scriptures, he had plenty of examples. But Mary had to believe something that was totally impossible and had never happened before. But yet she said, uh, but yet she didn't stagger she just said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, mm. be it unto me. Mm. Uh, she took God at his way. Mm. 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 Amen. Amen. So, so that's what happened with her. When she believed the word of God and didn't reason against it, uh, something happened that caused the impossible to yeah. be possible. Yes. 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 Amen. 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 And so many times uh, we, we, we find ourselves paralyzed, uh, not performing according to the function that we are intended to do. Because we reason at God's way. Analyze it and try to see kind of the be, uh, we question whether it can really be. Uh, that causes us to, to be paralyzed. Now, now we, we see the same thing happened in the Old Testament. The children of Israel. God had given them plenty of promises. And when he was fulfilling them right before their eyes, after taking them out of the land of Egypt, making them cross through the Red Sea, and get to the point where they were about to enter into the promised land Moses, Moses sent 12 men to, to spy the land uh, to go and check with the, the land that God had given them in other words to go investigate the promise of God yeah. to, to bring back a report to, to them as to whether indeed God was fulfilling what he had told them now, when the spies came back, ten of them uh, had a different kind of report. They, they, they had checked the land, but they had analyzed it against what the promise of God had said. When, when they gave the, the, the report, 
Uh, they talked about the Hivites, the Hittites. They talked about the, the, the strong men that were in that land. They talked about the walls and the spears that they had. And in other words, they, they had analyzed what was there. Said, no, God gave the promise, but that one. Uh -uh. And then the, the other two, which was Joshua and Caleb, uh, their report was simple. Here are the fruits. Yeah. Let's go and possess the land. Right. They, they didn't have time to analyze what was going on. They believed what God had promised. The land is there. It's flowing with milk and honey. Let's go take it. But now, that report, that the majority report that was brought forth, it brought fear upon the nation. And it paralyzed the whole nation. They, they were completely paralyzed. They could not enter into that land. So they could not fulfill the function that God had intended them to do. Uh, by, because they, they chose to analyze his way and, and choose their reasonings over God's promise. So they hardened their hearts. Yeah. Uh, that is why um, the Bible says mm. today when you hear his voice yeah. uh, harden not your hearts yeah. as they did in that day. Yeah. It is an example that we have. Yeah. They, they, they had the promise of God but they chose to reason at it when it was time for it to be fulfilled. And then they paralyzed. Amen. So, so the prophet talks about um, in the message a time of decision and the, the power of decision. He talks about how it's important to, to decide uh, to, to make a choice. And so he, he gave an example in that message um, about a, a, a sister who had received a, a proposals of marriage from two, diff two different uh, brothers. Uh, and then what, what happened was uh, the prophet says she took too long and ended up losing them both because when you, when you fail to make a decision in a sense that also causes you to be paralyzed uh, and many times you see in, in common day things that we do. Yeah. If you have certain tasks that you have to do. Maybe after washing you have to iron and then mop the floor. And then mop the floor. Different tasks. Mm -hmm. If you just sit down and then start thinking, ah, okay, I'll do this. And then I'll do this. But first let me drink a cup of tea. Uh, your indecision that, that causes you to, 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 to procrastinate. Uh, you, you delay yourself from doing what you're supposed to do. Uh, Amen. Amen. So, uh, and that uh, delay is also a cause for you not to fulfill the purpose that you need. 
it's important to, to be able to decide. Because after that you've decided, you're able to act. Amen. 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 So it's important to make a decision so that you can act. Amen. 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 So when, when we look at God's way, um, you look at it uh, knowing who you are and that helps you to come to a decision and then once you've come to a decision then you are able to act amen, amen. amen. Uh, like it happened with with um, israel uh, in the time when 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 david and goliath was was uh, in the time of David and Goliath, uh, when Israel was attacked by the Philistines, uh, and you know the challenge was uh, that, they, that, that Goliath had brought forth to them. Uh, was, give me one man, and then I'll fight him if I win. Then we, we take you. But then if he, that person wins, then you, you've overcome us. It seems like a simple challenge. But when, when uh, the Israelites stood there, the, the army of the children of God, they analyzed what was going on there. They, they saw, uh, 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 we, we can't. Uh, they were paralyzed. Uh, even the king couldn't decide whether he should go or not go. Because remember, he was the one head and shoulders above the rest. He was the tallest. He was the, they chose him to be king because he, he looked more strong than others. But his inability to decide caused him to be paralyzed and paralyzed the whole nation. And when David came on the scene, he, he didn't want to analyze a lot of things. He, he looked at the promise of God, looked at the situation, realized who he was, and then decided and acted upon that. Amen. Amen. So he looked at the promise of God, realized that they were the, the children of God, they had a living God, and the Philistines, no matter how big, how strong they were, they didn't have the God that they had. So, regardless of whether he was experienced in battle or what, or whether him, David, had, had been to battle or not, he knew what the promise was. He knew where he was standing in relation to the promise. And he was able to act. And then according to that promise. Amen. Amen. And you know the story, he ended up going against Goliath and defeating him. And then Amen. 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 by, 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 by uh, believing God's way. Amen. Amen. So now when Amen. Jesus Christ uh, was, was here on earth, uh, in the flesh, walking in the streets of Galilee, uh, the denominations of that time. Uh, the Pharisees, Sadducees, Pharisees, the uh, all of them at that time uh, they knew that he was from God because one of the elders even came to him and says uh, we know that uh, no man can do these things except God be with him so they had analyzed and checked what he was doing 
us didn't. And they had seen or no, there's something. And Nicodemus, knowing what the word of God said, made a decision that, you know, I, I believe what this is, what this is. It, it aligns with the scriptures. Yeah. And so he, 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 although he didn't want to do it publicly, he identified himself with what was happening. Amen. Because he believed what God's word was saying yeah. about him. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And the, the other Pharisees and Sadducees. They, they didn't want to believe it. Uh, Though they knew it was from God, uh, and they could see that the scriptures were even testifying that it, uh, it, it was from God, they continued to try and analyze. To try and find something somewhere that can disqualify Christ from being who he was. Disqualified. And so, uh, um, you know, Satan gave them what they wanted. They, they wanted to find fault. Uh, and then all that they could see was fault. Yeah. So if we would go into uh, the field, when he, when Jesus Christ went into the field, and they saw his disciples and him taking from the field and eating, they find fault in that. But Christ would sit and he'd eat with his disciples without washing their hands. They find fault in that. When someone was healed on a Sabbath, they found fault in that. The analysis kept bringing them to where they would always find fault. And, and it, it paralyzed them from seeing who yeah. he was. They, they were blind to seeing him. They missed him completely. Amen. Amen. And so that, that's how the, even the denominations of today they come about. When, when people try to reason at God's way uh, or try to present it in a different way from what it is, uh, they, they cause themselves to, to, to be paralyzed. Yeah. Yeah. They can't move further with the word of God yeah. because they try to put their own things in it. Amen. 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 So the, the prophet in the message uh, was the second seal. Uh, brother Brennan talks about that thing. So he was talking about um, how that the Catholic Church was the, the first um, church to, to be organized. Um, uh, when, when he started out, um, he speaks of how that he read in history and he saw that indeed it started out uh, at Pentecost uh -huh. but then he realized that a, a problem came along the way when, when they started trying to add their own things to them. so he explains it that um, when, when they started out they, they were filled with the spirit going around testifying and going out and, and people were getting saved and, then and, and but then at that time it was still just the common people uh, and so um, as they got and more people saved the news of the gospel got to those dignitaries the soldiers and so forth and so when when the the, the, the people of, of uh, dignity started to receive this message um, that's where the problem started. So I'm going to read um, from paragraph 
Um, or let me just start it a bit higher. 126. He says, and after a while, they began to come on all oh, army captains and different people. Amen. And the, the celebrities began to see the gallantry. And the miracles and signs and these, these, that these men done. And so they accepted Christianity. Well, then you see, when they embraced, when he embraced Christianity, and, and go down there to a place where they were meeting, in a little old dungeon, dark hall, uh, clapping their hands and shout and speaking in tongues and but, but, messages. But, but, uh, why? He could never take that to his competitor. So maybe it was a, a business, a business, a, it was a businessman of some sort. All right. And he had received this, this gospel. Uh, and then now he wants to testify to his um, colleagues. So in his mind he's thinking, uh, no, they won't believe it like that. This one of clapping hands and shouting, uh, they, they are used to wearing ties and suits and uh, uh, dignified. Uh, so he said he would never believe it like that. Certainly not. Uh, so he has got uh, he has got to dress it up um, so he has got to dress it up uh, uh, and so they begin to get together and begin to think now will form a, something a little different and Jesus right immediately at the first church age he told them in the second chapter of Revelation here I have somewhat against you uh, because these deeds of the Nicolaitans. Uh, Nico means to conquer. Uh, uh, to conquer the light. Uh, Amen. Uh, in other words, they wanted to make, instead of everybody be one. Uh, uh, ah. They wanted some holy fellow. They wanted some kind of a. Um, they wanted to pattern it after paganism. Um, because you know with, with paganism uh, they, they have different gods for different things um, if, if there's a farmer he knows there's a certain god for rain uh, a god for harvest uh, that's paganism Mm. Amen. So Amen. that's what they try to make Christianity. Because of what they thought up. Mm. They wanted to present it in, in a way that would uh, be appealing to the business people. Yeah. And those who were more dignified. So they went away from the simplicity of the way as it is. And it caused them to paralyze that church. Amen. 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 And so that 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 is the, the, the problem there. Amen. Amen. And that's the thing that causes a stagnation with um, the people of God that hinders them from going forward. Yeah. Amen. 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 Um, so, the prophet in the message, spiritual amnesia, 
he says that and we forget sometimes what the Christian church is he says we act like the world and that shows that we got spiritual amnesia because that you can't act like a Christian you act like the world you receive the heart of the world and it causes this Amen. Amen. So that causes a, this paralysis. Amen. Amen. So he explains what, what amnesia is. Uh, I'll just read it here for you. Okay. Uh, it's in the message spiritual amnesia. Uh, paragraph 87. He says, Now this amnesia, we are told it is. Uh, cause you to be in a place where you cannot identify yourself. Uh, now it's an unusual thing. It don't happen too often. I know But the cause of it is from shock. Yeah, it's it's um, somebody that don't even know who they are. Um, you find it from wars. Sometimes soldiers get it. And sometimes even people get it. And another thing that causes it is worry. And worry. worry will cause it. Worry, worry has no virtue to it. Worry has no virtue to it. Yeah, just just keep worry and accept faith. Amen. Somebody said, well, now, what if you're going to be short in the morning? Wouldn't you worry? And I said, no, I don't think so. Why? Why? I said, eh, don't worry, couldn't do nothing but make me worse. Mm. Mm. Hey, so worry will cause you if if you, you knew somehow that something bad was going to happen and you, you continue to worry about that thing it, it won't help you much yeah. that's what happened with uh, Saul and his army continue to worry this man is such a giant because you, you could hear his thinking when he was speaking with uh, David yeah. he says, but you, you've never been to war before He's been at war since his youth. So he went and even investigated when did this man start fighting. Continued to worry about that problem. And it paralyzed him. And because he was a leader, it paralyzed the, the people he was leading as well. And so worry causes that. It can also cause amnesia uh, because they forgot who they were they were representing the most high God uh, so they forgot that because of one amen, amen. so um, the prophet is continuing to explain why he was saying that he didn't want to worry he says well what good is it going to do oh the, the other person asked him what good is it going to do to have faith I said, it might deliver me. That's right, you see? Mm. Oh, that's right, you see? Mm. And, and that's true. Yes. If, you, if you remember the examples of, of Daniel, uh, when he was told that because he 
prayed to his God and refused to pray according to the new laws that were placed and then uh, 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 the following day would be put into the lion's den and he didn't worry yeah. he prayed to God the same way he was praying when yeah. he had faith in God yeah. and, and that delivered him yeah. the same with the Hebrew children yeah. they were told they would be cast into a fire yeah. That problem, they didn't stay too much on the problem yeah. to analyze how hot is the fire. They believed that God would deliver them. And that allowed them to be delivered because they took God at His way. So that's why you, you shouldn't worry. It, it causes you to have amnesia. And it causes you then not to act according to the purpose that you intended to. Amen. Amen. So, so, so he says that so worry has no virtue to it. At all. But faith has all virtue. Amen. 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 Or worry sometimes causes it. He's still talking about amnesia. Now, another thing that caused it to come among the people is getting between two opinions. That will cause amnesia. It gets you to a place where you could actually um, what you've done, you've lost your reasons. You've lost your mind. You can't make, uh, you don't know who you are. You can't identify yourself. Uh, you have got your scholarly education. Um, but you still can't identify yourself. Mm -hmm. The same education you had, but you don't know where it come from. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't know who you are, what, where you belong. Mm -hmm. That's amnesia. So we are told. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's not good to worry. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not good to to, to, to be between two opinions. Uh, the, the best way to make a decision uh, always refer back to who you are. Uh, 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 when you have a circumstance and you have to choose between two options so that you don't get paralyzed uh, always refer back to who you are. Uh, see what the word of God says Amen. and move with that yeah. because the moment you, you, you start to get between um, you get caught between two opinions and you don't refer back to who you are or what the promise of God for your day is you start to act out of character uh, because you will, you will start asking questions like where is God uh, and, and things like that uh, because um, it happened to Job uh, um, you remember after what happened to, to him in his life? Uh, um, when all things collapsed uh, um, and, and he didn't know where to run to um, he came to a point where he was asking within himself as to where God was at that moment in time. That caused amnesia to come on him. Yeah. Right. The first thing that God said before he started explaining to him the situation so, was Job, where were you? He was trying to bring Job back to his senses. 
by making him remember who he was when the sons of God were shouting for joy hallelujah so, so that's the thing that will help you to come out of the state of paralysis being a child of God always go back to the word of God and see what it says about who you are about your capabilities about your God it will help you to move forward Amen, Amen. and, 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 and you, you'll be you know you'll act in the character that you are Amen, Amen. Amen. Uh, that because when when, when when God formed us, uh, he, he formed us um, in a way that every part had its own purpose. Amen. So, so the hand has its work. The eyes have their work. The ears and so forth. Amen. Amen. So, so all these things, they have a part that they play. Amen. Amen. And so when, when, when any part is out of its place, or is paralyzed, <laughs> Uh, then that causes a problem. So, uh, because remember, when, when we speak of paralysis, we, we don't talk about something that uh, is, is, is not there. Or there is a form, uh, so if my hand is, is, is paralyzed, yeah. the hand is there, uh, but it's not performing according to its function. Uh, That's where the problem is. So, uh, uh, what this word is, the aim of this word is to do is to take us out of a state of paralysis so that the hand can pick up things the way it's supposed to and do the things that it's supposed to we are the members of the body of Christ so the body has to perform its function hallelujah and, and that's what God wants this way to do for us you shouldn't just have a form of godliness and then deny the power that we should work in that power the form that we have we are the church of the living God amen Amen. And so we have to conduct ourselves in the So um, the, the answer to, 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 to how we are supposed to do things yes. is not to look at uh, uh, the reasonings that we can give. But to, to look at what God has promised us. And according to the way. Amen. But, Amen. but that does not mean we just act haphazardly. Uh, we, we, there, there, there's a, 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 an order that we have to follow. Uh, the, the prophet talks about uh, um, running without a message. Uh, if, if someone um, hear, hears that something is happening somewhere and they just um, okay it's actually a story in the Bible yeah. uh, 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 where there, there was a battle happening somewhere and the, 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 the king uh, needed a report as to what was happening at the battle and so um, those that were at the, at the battle uh, the, the captain sent um, a messenger with a certain message to say, say to the king, this and this and this and this is happening. So now he said to the messenger, run, go to the king. And there was someone who was there nearby. And then that person just decided to run to the king as well. Now the thing, the thing about it was. Uh, 
the, 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 the one who did not have the message so oh that's namalaja actually ended up oh outrunning the one who had the message we are share all of us namalaja got to the king uh, uh, and when the king was asking what's happening in the battle nothing to say until the other one came behind him the king asked what is happening at the battle and he had a message you could tell the king this and this and this and this and this and this. So, so the aim here is not to just you know hear the, 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 the or catch the moving of the spirit and act just blindly yeah. I, I, I know Amen so the aim here is to is to is to do according to what the word says. Because remember when, when Jesus Christ was tempted, he was tempted of the devil. Um, he came to him with with the word. You know, the first time he says, Okay, if you are the son of God, turn these stones and make them bread. Then Jesus Christ, knowing who he was, used the word and answered. It is written, Men shall not live by bread alone. But by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil saw or okay yeah. uh, this one knows where he's standing yeah. and he's even using scripture yeah. then I'll use scripture as well yeah. took him to a high place and said uh, the, you know scripture also says something yeah. it says if, if you fall down you will command his angels to catch you yeah. Yeah. And you won't touch the ground, you won't be hurt. Yeah. Try to do that and let's see, let's prove the way. Uh, yeah, let's try and prove this way that it's true. And him knowing who he was, he didn't just act because, ah, there is a scripture, let's try it. Yeah. He, he, he searched and tested the spirit that was bringing that way. And he could see that this spirit is trying to use the word in a way that is not right. And he answered using the word yet again that you shall not tempt the Lord your God. Amen. And so with us, the same thing. It should be the same with us. You know, the Bible speaks about how that creation is groaning and, and, and when you continue with it let's, let's read it, it's in Romans chapter 8 um, Romans chapter 8 Romans chapter 8 from verse Okay, verse, verse 21 speaks of um, the, the creation. It says that because the creature itself also... Um, no, that's not the one. Um, oh, verse 20, just before that one. For the creature was made... Verse 19, sorry. For the earnest expectation of the, cre of the creature <coughs> waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. Mm. So, so creation in itself <laughs> is groaning, waiting for the, the manifestation of the Son of God. Amen. Amen. And when you read, when you go with it further, it, it doesn't stop there. Uh, verse, um, there's a part where um, Paul shows that even we in ourselves verse 23 mm -hmm. it's not just talking about creation it says and not only they oh, okay, let me read. it says and not only they but ourselves also which have the first fruits of the spirit mm -hmm. even we ourselves grown within ourselves waiting for the adoption to wait the redemption of our body. Mm -hmm. 
ba go ba le dithakang wa ga moya re sa letetse bogomana tikollo ya mebele ya rena amen so so even we within ourselves le rena ka mo ga re go rena that happens to every child of god so se tira la mo mare mo mo modimo because you you have this desire in you kara bona ona le takatso e ka mara ha you recognize what the word says about you eh go tlhomo le maselim ke le sibolela ka wena want to fulfill that thing about yourself eh o nya ka o pheta ta seo eh ka wena eh about what the word says you are to do seo eh le ntle le sibolela ngore eh o tshwantse go se dire gore if you remember um, moses he o bona moshe um he, remember he he he, he was um, brought up by his own mother uh, you remember that right? um, and his mother kept on telling him moses you are a deliverer uh, you are a deliverer you're going to deliver the children of israel uh, because she she knew the time had come according to the promise of god uh, and this child was a proper child So God had revealed it to her and she was bringing that message yeah. to the child. Gale mudimu ile a mo utulela yona bale o ba tsa mola tsa o fa ngwana. And when when Moses became of age, gale e mo she a sna a gola. There was that earnest expectation within him. Eh o ba ona le tetelo e e gola ka mara ha. He fulfilled that way. O ba tsa ja le ntle. And and he he waited and tried to train and you know become a, an army general. Eh we le a le ka e ma so that he can take the deliver the children of Israel out of Egypt and then one day he tried it killed one Egyptian it caused the mess and he ended up having to run away from there and god had to train him and show him how it should be done yeah. according to the way mm-hmm. so because of his own way of analyzing things and thinking mm-hmm. now i think is the time yeah. Now was the time for him to do that. He, he paralyzed himself at that time. Mm-hmm. And he had to take God to bring him back to where he could function properly. Mm-hmm. So the reason I was saying that was because even we within ourselves mm-hmm. we see what God has done through the ages. Mm-hmm. How that even in this time he, he has brought forth a message that, that he's taken us from justification to sanctification to the baptism of the holy ghost restored the gifts and all of that and even restored back the word amen, amen. amen. And, and we're living in a time where that we we see that the word has to put on flesh amen. and and it has to be manifested living walking bible uh-huh. not in a time to come somewhere now the bible says we are now sons and daughters of god amen and so there is this groaning within us to manifest this way but we should not do it just out of emotion just because we see it seems like there's an opportunity and we think yeah now i can do it no it shouldn't be that way you have to wait on what god wants us to do and, and how he does things because But there was something that I was looking at. Uh, once discussed it with some brothers some few months back. Uh, about how how that you know this message is, is bringing us to to being what God really called us to be. Yeah. And, and how that the prophet was talking about the the era that happened with the first bride which was Eve. 
Mupropheta le kanza le linga bula laka poshi ilenge magodi o matomo ilenge efa. How that she 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 went ahead of the wind. And we just simply la simply la na kope la linju. And caused the mess. Where a a a a dira taka taka. And then the the second bride was then Israel. Where a magodi o mupeli mupeli Israel. That the children of Israel. Banaba Israel. And they went ahead of the wind as well. Where le banaba le ba simply la kope la halu. When God was supposed to be the king, they said no. Let's get a king. Let's get one the king. Mala mudi mu basi anje kwa kushia bana bana ba ileba kina kila kushi. They they did things that uh, um, they they were hindering God's plan because yeah. they were just doing things according to how they felt. Eh ba 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 anecha pola ni mudi mu ya utera juu la kabaka la bana ne ba tera kama kuhu ne ba ikuwa ba ka urna ba katera biya. And so they they then he was talking about how uh, this bride this bride is is predestinated not to fail. So the bride of this age, because she will have to take every word that comes from the Lord. She will not fail, except, except if, uh, like what Paul was saying. That uh, uh, I fear lest someone beguile you as they did uh, me in the garden. And so that is the the thing that we we should not find ourselves doing. Yeah. Running, ahead of, running ahead of the way.